Okay, so now I'm located right behind me is one of the classes. Uh, what I want to say, there is a lot, obviously there is a lot of things that are going on. Uh, this is the environment. This is where the printer is, so I, I brought the printer, obviously there is a computer. Another thing I want to say is that the this is the situation in school. Now that I brought a printer and computer, they're trying to find a way to secure it. They're trying to actually build something where it cannot be stored. Because right now there is over a thousand, obviously, there's like a couple thousand dollars worth of... Uh, couple, couple, couple thousand dollars worth of worth of uh, product and so we're trying to preserve it and see how, what is the safest way to preserve it. So, so that's number one because the area is very poor and uh, I will I'll show you around. This is it. This is the area. And so the idea is to the idea is to bring awareness to the school. Let me show you, for example, what's happening with the water here. Let me just show you, so you have an idea. Uh, see there is no water twist it any way you want so now for the rest of the day we don't have a we don't have water the, the, the water comes and goes all depends from all depends on the pumps and uh, so that's issue number one issue number two has to do with many kids not even having a school uniform and quite often because of the regulations they cannot even come to school because they don't have uniforms so teachers are pressuring parents to get the school uniform so that's two three obviously the issue with the fans kids running around so now the, the school looks at me as if I'm a sponsor. I'm not even a sponsor. I never sponsored anybody. I, I'm just trying to help. But in, in Africa, when you, when you do something like this, when you do so much goodness, you become, yeah, they see you as a savior. You know, some, some kids call me Jesus. <laughs> Uh, now, next step is, I think before fans, obviously, because that's, that requires so much more time and I'm not sure how long I'll stay here. I'll probably focus on clothes, uh, water, obviously many kids eat once a day to solve the problem of them eating once a day. Uh, I don't know how much effort that requires. I have no idea how much that's it's needed. I'm still trying to find out. Uh, it's uh, obviously you see the motorcycles riding here. Uh, this is the school. Uh, this is where the this is where the food is being prepared. So uh, the amount of food uh, the amount of food depends on how many parents contribute. So now we have only hello <laughs> we have only uh, thirty. 
30 parents contributing, so only 30 kids are using. Thank you very much, Asante, for what you do. Asante Sano. Thank you. Thank you. So they are cooking. So kids are cooking for kids. You see? Uh, then there is a plot uh, called Shamba. And uh, I'm trying to understand. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, like hello white guy <laughs> uh, so yeah the, the, there is a plot uh, I'm trying to see how much it costs to rent it or buy it so that they can grow something for sustainability purposes I'm not sure how that's going to happen when that's going to happen will I ever find out the price or not but there is a plot it, that plot belongs to the church uh, I don't know if this land will be enough to feed all the kids so that's number I don't know what number that is so water pump or water food clothes protecting the valuables protecting the printer and the computer uh, uh, what else ah yes the teacher already called me a bishop says are you, are you trying to it's a it's a big project school is a big project I mean the government did the bare minimal to keep the school running and the people that come here they come it's basically pretty much on volunteering as volunteering most of these people have either second jobs or they have husbands that make good money or because this pays around 60 bucks a month which is nothing so the teachers here are pretty educated I want to say very educated and they're doing it out of the big heart and because of them, because of them, the school runs. So there is 23, 24 teachers. And for 23, 24 teachers, there is uh, 900, 900 kids. 900 kids, guys. And all of them are... Uh, yeah, some of them don't even come because it's too far. That's another thing, is distance. This is one of the remote schools. Let me show you the mountain. I uh, so don't want to distract them. So this is the... The mountain. We're really far off grid. So many kids don't even make it to school because it's far away. It's one of the most remote schools up in this mountain. Over there you have Mount Meru. Uh, this is the local trash compostable. You know, people or kids are really aware about the recycling. So yeah, I'm giving you a tour. Uh, I hope this message gets out there. How about it? How are you? <laughs> Good. Yes. Kiddos. Kiddos. Yeah. Just to get here is a journey, guys. Just to get here is a journey. Anyways. Sending lots of love to everyone. Uh, sharing you what I'm doing. Uh, probably there is a lot of things that I missed. But this gives you an idea. This gives you an idea. All... 85 of these kids are Maasai kids, you know, they speak Ma, they speak Swahili. I started a trend of handstands as well, <laughs> show you that later, kids actually doing wonderful handstands. Uh, yeah, we have to solve the water thing, because I have water in my backpack, but most of the, these kids don't. <sighs> okay, much love.